Hi guys, today I have another sweet recipe <laughs> just because somehow now I have so many ideas for sweet recipes and they just keep coming. So I hope you will enjoy this one as well. This one is for those times when you really want to treat yourself, you want to indulge. So this one is for a really chocolatey chocolate cake. It's a chocolate sheet cake. It's not a brownie. It's really spongy. It's super soft and we also add some dark chocolate chips or if you prefer milk chocolate chips on top along with some caramel and some flaky salt. Yummy! It's super delicious and it's also super simple to make. So a win-win recipe. We are starting with the softened butter. So I have the butter there and I'm adding in my brown sugar. And then you just want to beat the sugar with the butter until soft and pale. So then after a couple of minutes the butter and sugar should be really soft and pale and that's when you can start adding the eggs. We want to add in the eggs one at a time and beat in between each addition for about half a minute. Then once you've mixed the eggs into the butter and sugar, you want to mix your dry ingredients. So I have my flour here and I'm adding in the baking powder, the baking soda and the cocoa powder. Then you just want to give it a short mix. And then you can start adding this in to your batter. So first I'm gonna add in about one third of my dry ingredients. And I'm gonna sieve them in to avoid having any lumps in my batter. And then you want to just mix shortly on low. Then you want to grab your kefir or buttermilk, keep the mixer on low and add in about half while mixing. Then you want to add another third. Also just shortly mix it in. Thank you. 
and again let your mixer run on low and add in the rest of the buttermilk. Now I'm going to remove my whisks. I still have that last bit of my dry ingredients to add. So just sieving them in. And I'm going to mix them in with a spatula. Just so that I don't over mix my batter. So just fold in the last bit of dry ingredients until they are well combined. And then once your batter is nice and smooth you can transfer it to a baking tin. So then you just need your cake tin. I'm using the silicone mat and on top of it I'm using this kind of uh, rectangular um, form but you could also use just a cake tin or a round cake tin whichever uh, you prefer using and then you want to transfer your batter into the cake tin and then you just want to spread it evenly And then once you have it even, you want to sprinkle the chocolate and the caramel on top. So I'm gonna start with the caramel. So you can add more or less, whichever way you want. So I'm happy with the amount of the caramel. And then I'm adding in my dark chocolate chips on top. You could also use milk chocolate if you prefer and again just add as much as you like and then I also wanted to balance out the sweetness with a little bit of uh, fleur de sal or flaky salt so I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on top And then I'm just gonna pop it into the oven and as always the recipe with the baking instructions can be found in the description box. This recipe has just become my go-to recipe. So sometimes I come up with a recipe, I test it and I think, oh my God, it's so simple to make, so quick to make and it tastes absolutely delicious. It's kind of a recipe that everyone will like and I think, wow, <laughs> this is something I'm gonna make a lot for my family and friends for get togethers because it's so quick and easy to get put together and also you probably have all of the ingredients in your home anyway so why not make it so the recipe calls for the chocolate chips for the caramel and for the salt but here um, I want to say something so you can even make it without any toppings it will still be delicious you can top it with some buttercream you can make a cream cheese topping you can use the chocolate chips but leave the caramel uh, chips out or use the caramel leave the chocolate out or leave the salt out because I think that's something that not everybody likes I like to add the salt because it kind of balances the sweetness and I like salted caramel and this kind of reminds me of that so I love to add that car that salt <laughs> on top but if that's not something you enjoy just leave it out and make it your own if you love chocolate cakes 
you have to try out this recipe because you're gonna love it it's so soft and spongy it melts in your mouth and I am 100% sure you will love it if you enjoyed this recipe then don't forget that thumbs up so I also know you liked it and if you're new to my channel then you can subscribe now and if you tap the bell you won't miss any of the new recipes thank you for watching my video bye bye until next time